Hey everyone, today I kind of wanted to go over my workflow whenever I do jump onto Mobile Lightroom and just the presets that I'm using to kind of brand my content for YouTube and for Instagram. I thought maybe it might be helpful to a couple of you guys. Um, I know pretty much everybody knows how to use Mobile Lightroom. Some of you may not. So I just kind of wanted to give you my workflow on the application and also a couple free presets. So if you look down below, there is a link that will actually take you to the page where you can download the link to three free presets that um, I have created. So I think one of them is called Bourbon Fader. The other one is called Urbana. And the third one is called Blackout. So please definitely download those and start using them for your everyday use. I'm gonna take three photos here in my phone, actually drop them in Lightroom and then edit them, kind of show you what what look and feel I tend to go for. I'm more of like neutral moody with just like one or two color pops in my uh, photos. All right, and here we go. So you wanna go ahead and if you haven't already download that Lightroom mobile app, I am going to actually add a couple pictures. My bad y'all, I'm on the struggle bus. I am on the struggle bus. Okay, so what I would usually do is start with my preset. I know some people don't, they kind of color grade first, but that's not me. And I go to um, signature presets. I'll try to look up and I'm gonna throw that bourbon fader on, which is a little blotchy, but we can fix that. So go ahead and go with the bourbon fader. And then uh, I'll usually come over I will add the vignette in the beginning. I don't know, that's kind of backwards. I edit backwards, I don't know why, but I just do. Actually, I just edit different from how other people edit. So I'll take some of that saturation out, okay? Then I'll go ahead and maybe lighten the exposure depending on how I feel. I'm noticing a little kind of blotchy grain on my right arm as I was holding the drink out. So I'm going to try to get rid of that. If that involves taking the shadows down and maybe the highlights up, play with that a little bit. There we go. That's a little too dark for me. So I'll go ahead and not crush the blacks. Lighten that up a bit. Highlights. Let me see. Now definitely play with it to your liking. I mean, everyone's different. We got that contrast going there. It depends on what type of picture it is. I do kind of like some contrast. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's, let's go back to the effects and then let's play with the clarity a bit. See how my arm softens up a little bit. So I do like clarity. I like for that to be like kind of rich and dark. So I would probably go with something like this, take down the dehaze a little bit. Maybe like right there. I don't know, maybe, maybe push it up a little bit. I think it was on 50 earlier. Okay, and that's looking really good to me. So, I mean, this is something I would definitely drop on my IG and I actually am gonna drop that on my IG. So let me go ahead and save that to the device. All right, and then we'll move on to our second photo. I think a picture of my kids. Okay, so so my daughter. I'll drop my daughter in. We'll add her. This will give a different look. Okay, here she is. Again, go ahead and throw that vignette on there. Okay. And then let's go to color. Just put a little color on her. She is a bit pale, a bit pasty. And then um, I want it to be a fun pick. So maybe drop that. Okay, now let's go ahead and throw a preset on. You see how backwards I am sometimes? It just depends on what the picture is and what it looks like. Uh, um, we already did bourbon fader so let's go with urbana oh baby girl okay so we got the urbana 
Okay, so let's go back here. Color, yeah. Let's just make sure we don't take too much color out. And then let's drop that uh, exposure just a little bit. And boost the contrast just a tad bit. I don't want to lighten her too much. So we can keep the highlights where they are, play with the shadows a little bit. Um, I do want to see some of her hair. So we'll boost that. Uh, blacks, let's see if we crush. Should we crush them? No, don't crush the blacks. Yeah, we can crush them a little bit. So um, we can go with that. And I mean, quite honestly, I think that's pretty much done. Let me see. Clarity. A little bit of clarity on that. Take it down just a little bit. So, uh, I mean, I'm gonna play with it a little bit. Let's go 21 on that. And um, D Haze. Nah, I'm not feeling the D Haze. I'll boost the D Haze. And to me right there, I mean, that looks good to me. So let's check that out. Ooh, look at her. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. Save that to the device. We're gonna do one more. Okay, so no, actually, let's do two more. I will actually do the third preset and then on the tail end, I'll do my signature preset. So let's go back and let's drop in another photo. That's done right there. That is blackout. And then we are going to edit one last photo with my signature preset on there, which is called cinematic. Okay, so let's drop in this time. Let's go ahead and drop in uh, some coffee. Some more coffee. Okay, so um, this is the coffee I think I got yesterday. The one we edited first was the coffee from Starbucks. Go figure. Okay, so let's go here. You already know what we're about to do. All right, darken that up a little bit. We'll come back to clarity. I usually like to do clarity towards the end. We'll drop the exposure just a little bit. You see how that, you see how that, um, when you drop the exposure, it creates a little bit more detail within the picture. So it's like right here and then we drop that exposure. Look at that. The colors become just a bit more vivid. So let's up this contrast. Ooh, you're looking good. Okay, crush the blacks a little bit more. We can go ahead and keep the whites where they are. All right, let me um, see where our saturation is. Maybe boost that just a little bit to give it just a, a bit more color. Give it that pop. And then here we are back at clarity. A little bit of texture. Oh yeah, come on guys, check that out. Dehaze a bit. Oh, stop it. Okay, I hope you guys are enjoying this just as much as I am. <laughs> but um, there you have it with my signature look called Cinematic. So if you guys wanna purchase Cinematic, please go ahead, by all means do, tweak it to your liking and then um, make it your own preset. But that is Cinematic right there. I hope you guys like that. I'm not gonna do it now, but I would usually just go drop them in Instagram. That's it, that's basically mobile Lightroom in a nutshell. So yeah. 
all right i stopped that i hope you guys really enjoyed that again i just wanted to do something really quick to just kind of show you my workflow when i am editing in mobile lightroom and uh, maybe you can apply it to the pictures that you are editing for your instagram youtube facebook whatever it is uh twitter I don't know what you're using to brand yourself, but make sure you guys are branding yourself. You yourself are a brand. Or if you've created a brand around something else, your family or your company, make sure you build it up every day. Take a couple pics, drop them in Lightroom, edit them, and then drop them back in Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever you use as a means to showcase who you are as a brand. Make sure you guys are doing that every day. It will definitely take your business, your brand, you further. If you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.